Wanting an LS spot might seem like a nightmare, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you through it step by step so you can get your engine running in no time. The heart of an LS swap is the wiring harness. You've got two options, a standalone harness for, for simplicity or modifying your existing harness for a custom fit. Let's start by choosing the right setup. First up, you need to connect all the engine sensors. This includes your crank position sensor, camshaft sensor, coolant temperature sensor, and mass airflow sensor. Make sure every connection clicks securely into place. Next, let's handle the power in the grounds. The battery needs direct power to the starter and the alternator. For a solid ground, Bolt your ground wires from the engine block to the chassis. Good grounds are crucial for avoiding electrical issues later on. Now it's time to connect the brain of your LS swap, the ECU. Your wiring harness should plug directly into your ECU. Make sure also to connect your OBD2 port for tuning and diagnostics. Don't forget your fuel and ignition wire. Your harness will have connectors for each fuel injector and coil pack. Plug those in, double check for any loose connections, and you're one step closer to firing up this beast. Running into trouble, common wiring issues include incorrect sensor connections, poor grounds, or ECU communication. Use a multimeter to check voltage if you're stuck. Before you fire the engine up, run a final check. Ensure everything is wired in co co uh, correctly, secure all your sensors, plug in all your grounds, make sure they're solid. Once you double check, it's time for the moment of truth. Boom, that's it. Sign of your success. LS swap wiring job with everything wired up correctly. Your engine should fire up right up. Now you're ready to hit the road. Years.